In this section, we will learn how to work with database in PHP. So we will build one small PHP application by using, you can add the employee data in your database. You can update your data. You can delete your data. You can search the particular record anytime you like. So in my directory of PHP course, I'm going to create one new folder with the name of DB and PHP. Now inside this folder, first let's bring this file of simple.php. So pasting that file here. Now I'm going to open this file in my editor, Atom. Now here inside this DB and PHP folder, we will have one folder with the name of include. And inside this folder, we will add our database connection file and the CSS file in case we need. Opening this file of simple.php, changing its title to insert data into database. Now inside the body, I will add one form. So adding one div here. And inside here, we need one form. Now in the action attribute, we need to define the name of the file where we are going to add the PHP to this file of simple.php. So we are going to use the same file of simple.php. So let's first save this file with some other name. So saving this file as insert into database.php. Now we have this file of insert into database.php and we are going to add the all of the PHP code in the same file. So I can simply mention this file name insert underscore into underscore database dot php and our method will be post so inside this form i will have one field set and inside this field set i will add one span tag and that will be for employee name so basically we are creating one form here so after that we'll have one br tag and then we will have our input field its type will be text and its name will be E name and then br tag so if I save this file and let's bring this file in our browser so going to my directory PHP course and then we have to go into this folder of DB and PHP click on this insert into database you can see we got this field set we got this employee name let's also add the CSS to this employee name so back to my editor right on this span i'm gonna add one class field info and let's add the style to this class so i'm gonna open this include folder and here i will add one file with the name of style dot css and now let's bring this file in our editor so here in this style.css file i will paste some style to this class of field info i added couple of style color font family and font size let's save this file and now we need to connect this style.css file with this insert into database file so right after this title we will add one link so it will be a style sheet and then we have to mention the directory of this file style.css so go into my include folder and look for this file of style.css saving this file so we already applied the class field info here so let's refresh our page you can see we got this employee name with this background so same like this, I will add couple of more fields here. So copying all of this code and pasting it for social security number. Its name will be SSN, then pasting it for department. Its name will be DEPT, then pasting it for salary.
its name will be salary and then pasting it for home address and instead of input field for this home address we will have one text area and its name will be home address so if I save this one and refresh my page you can see we got couple of fields here so after this home address we will add one button so right after this text area br tag we will add one button so adding one input tag here with the type of submit its name will be submit as well with the capital S and value will be submit your record so if I save this one and refresh my page you can see we got this button so let's design this whole form so first thing first first I'm gonna add some style to this div so inside my style.css I'm gonna add some margin left to this div and some width so if I save this one and let's refresh our page you can see we got the whole div inside the center now let's add the style to this text area so in my file of style.css I'm gonna paste some style for the text area and the field of type text so saving this one refreshing my page you can see we got the attractive form so same like these styles I will style this button right here so adding some style in this file of style.css for this submit button so before that if I can show you real quick in this file of insert into database.php you can see we have this input field for this button which has the type of submit so in my file of style.css I'm gonna add the style for this submit button so I gave it some color some background colors some border color font weight and I'm floating it to the left side so if I save this one and refresh my page you can see we are having this button so this will be our form by which we can add the data into database now in the next movie we will create our database and our table so that we can take the data out of this form and put it inside our database